Hey, I'm Steven and you know what? F*** the intro. Guys, Tesla robots are coming. This actually just happened. Holy s***. Seriously, we need to talk about this. This is the single most important announcement in the history of Tesla. I'm not pulling a leg, guys. There's no hyperbole here. I am dead serious. I ain't messing around, guys. Like, seriously. This is the part of the video where ordinarily I'd put my affiliates, my promos, blah, 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 some free stocks. F*** it. Go support me on Patreon if you want to support the channel. We need to get into this video ASAP. Elon will update us on what's beyond our vehicle fleet, fleet for AI. Unlike Dojo, obviously that was not real. Uh, so Dojo is real, uh, the Tesla bot will be real. Um, but uh, basically, if you think about what we're doing right now with the cars, uh, Tesla is arguably the world's biggest robotics company because our cars are like se semi-sentient robots on wheels. Um, and with uh, uh, the full self-driving computer, essentially the, the inference engine on the car, which will keep evolving obviously, and uh, Dojo, uh, and all the uh, neural nets recognizing the world, understanding how to navigate through the world, uh, it, it kind of makes sense to put that onto a humanoid form. Um, they're also quite good at uh, sensors and batteries and uh, actuators. So uh, we think we'll probably have uh, a prototype sometime next year. Stop the fucking press. Tesla is hoping to have a prototype of a humanoid robot running their full self-driving software to interact with the world next year. We'll talk more about this in a moment. Let's get back to Elon. Uh, that uh, is, it looks like this. Um, and it's intended to um, uh, be friendly, of course, um, <laughs> and uh, navigate through a world uh, built for humans and uh, eliminate dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. Um, we're setting it such that it is, um, at a mechanical level, at a physical level, uh, you can run away from it. Um, <laughs> and, and most likely overpower it. <laughs> so uh, hopefully that doesn't ever happen, but um, you never know. So it's, uh, it'll be a, you know, a light, a, a light yeah, five miles an hour, if you can run faster than that, you'll be fine. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's, it's a around, around uh, five foot eight. Um, uh, has sort of a, a screen where the head is for useful information, um, but it's otherwise basically got the uh, autopilot system in it. So it's uh, got cameras, got eight cameras, and um, yeah, uh, full self driving computer and making use of all of the same tools that we use in the car. So, um, I mean, things I think that are really hard about uh, having a useful humanoid robot is it can't navigate through the world without being explicitly trained. Uh, I mean, can't, without explicit, like, uh, line-by-line instructions. Um, 
can you can you talk to it and say you know please uh, pick up that bolt uh, and uh, attach it to a car with that wrench and it should be able to do that. Um, it should be able to you know please you know please go to the store and get me the following groceries, um, that kind of thing. So. Yeah, I think we can do that. So again, just really want to quickly jump in here. I'll elaborate on this more in a moment, but Elon Musk there saying that he believes that Tesla can achieve this goal of producing a humanoid robot that can interact with the world that doesn't need explicit programming for every little task it does, but rather can actually act very generally and is intelligent in other words. Yes, we're talking about an intelligent humanoid robot being developed by Tesla and Elon is confident that Tesla can achieve this goal. Yeah, I think we can do that. Um... <laughs> and yeah, this I think will be quite quite profound because if you say it like, what is the economy? It is uh, at the foundation. It is labor. So, what happens when there is uh, you know no shortage of, of labor? Um, That's why I think long term that there will need to be universal basic income. Uh, and, but, but not right now, because this robot doesn't work. And so, <laughs> we just need a minute. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but I think it's, it's essentially in the future, uh, physical work will be a choice. If you, if you want to do it, you can, but you won't need to do it. And, um, yeah, I think it obviously has profound implications for the economy, because uh, given that the economy at, at its foundational level uh, is labor, I mean, capital is, uh, capital equipment is just distilled labor, uh, then, um, is there any actual limit to the economy? Maybe not. Um, so, yeah. Join our team and help build this. Now guys, honestly, I don't even know where to begin. This is far and away the most ambitious challenge Tesla has ever set their sights on. If you thought full self-driving was a difficult challenge, humanoid robots, intelligent humanoid robots that can interact with the world, literally go and get you groceries, interact with the world, help in factories, etc. This is a whole other dimension of challenge. And the bigger the challenge, the bigger the opportunity. As we heard from Elon there, this will have profound implications on the economy. We also heard Elon ask the question, is there a limit to the economy? And he followed that up by saying, maybe not. I'll talk more about this in just a moment, but to lay the foundation, there is no question Tesla is in pole position for actually developing intelligent real world robots. No one else is close. Tesla's real world vision, their full self-driving software, can easily be deployed in these robots. They have a huge advantage here, and we literally heard these robots will have the full self-driving hardware stack as well. Eight cameras, full self-driving chip, running the same software. Now, stick with me guys and girls, we're about to go off the fucking deep end. Cast your mind forward. Just imagine that Tesla does solve this problem. They're able to scale up their manufacturing and they produce tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions, tens of millions, perhaps hundreds of millions of these robots. If, no, when Tesla can successfully scale up production of these useful participants in the global economy, Tesla's humanoid robots, everything changes. I really want to drive this point home because I think a lot of people will fail to grasp the long-term implications of what we've heard from Tesla today. As it stands, the global economy today is worth roughly $100 trillion per year. Remember Elon's comment there, is there even a limit to the size of the economy? This is a very interesting question to ponder. Let's just imagine in theory that with artificial intelligence, robotics, and automation, the global economy could scale by 10x. We're talking about a one quadrillion dollar global economy. What if it can scale 100x? Now we're talking about a 10 quadrillion dollar economy. I never in a million years would have imagined that I would seriously be using the term quadrillion on this channel. So I just want you guys and girls to play along at home with me here for just one moment. Just picture a future in which Tesla has a meaningful hand in helping to scale the global economy by a factor of 10 or more. Now some might be thinking, dude, that's insane, as if the global economy could grow at that kind of rate. Are you high, dude? The answer to that question is yes. But I just want to point out some interesting data that you're obviously unaware of. So this is world GDP over time. We're looking at the last two millennia. I want you guys to tell me if you can notice a trend. Maybe that there's some insane, incredible growth happening in recent times on the back of technology, which is a compounding effect. We have something we have never before seen. 
This is actually a really fun graph to talk when people say, there's no way a company's going to be valued at $10 trillion in the future, man. That's never happened before. Hello, the trend. What do you think is going to happen? Now, just to give you guys a little bit of context, it was only in the 1950s, just over half a century ago, that the world economy was first at $10 trillion. It's 10 x since then. If we go back in time even further, the previous 10 x took more than 100 years. It was 1820 that the global economy was around $1.2 trillion. It took well over a century for a 10 x from there. We've seen the next 10 x in a fraction of the time. And just for those who understand the difference between linear and log, I mean, you're about to have your mind blown. Check this out. It looks almost the same. This is a log chart. Now, I know a few people are probably getting a little bit lost here, so let me try to explain it in a different way. That. That's it. That's that. Get the hint? By the way, you can get your own Tesla stock to the moon, t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, etc. using the link in the description. Helps out the channel and they're great conversation starters. Now guys, I'm going to have a ton of videos digesting everything we saw at Tesla's AI day, but I had to get this video out first. I'm going to sum it up like this. If you thought the potential of Tesla's automotive business was insane, the potential of the software revenue in terms of full self-driving, etc. was insane, the potential for their energy storage business, their energy generation business was insane. Tesla's robots will be on a whole other level. I am not f***ing around here, guys. I'm going to have to spend some time doing some revisions to my estimates for Tesla's stock price in the future, but this changes everything. This is far and away the single most important announcement in the history of Tesla. Nothing else comes close. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think about this absolute bombshell? Tesla robots coming soon. Elon Musk hoping to have a prototype available next year. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all. And don't forget the BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards credit card, where you can earn 1.5% Bitcoin back on every purchase. There's a link in the description. You can also earn up to $250 in crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi, also linked below. And finally, don't forget your free stocks with Webull and Stake, also linked in the description. These great offers also help out the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe and don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching so thanks again.